I have my wife and my kids here with me, but I do have nine brothers and four sisters and dad and mom over there. They're really in a bad situation because the Taliban, they just took over and the situation is really bad. I'm, I'm in contact with them, like I'm on the phone with them like every single day. I'm, I do really about, I really, um, I'm worried about them. It was unacceptable, like the, everybody was shocked, like what happened. So we knew that it's gonna happen sooner or later but we didn't expect that it's gonna happen that fast. Like it took only like, not even 48 hours. Like it was, it was the worst situation I ever seen. Pulling out of United, the United States out of Afghanistan, it was very fast. They supposed to do it in stages and they didn't do that. So things in uh, American point of view, very bad very bad. They, they were there 20 years. In 20 years you can't fix nothing. That's, that's another uh, uh, questions and stuff by themselves but the uh, United States government did not do a good job. Uh, basically abandoned Afghanistan overnight. I just talk with them like every night and every day like we keep continuously talking with them and asking the situation in Afghanistan so they also worry about it. And I'm also trying to take them out from Afghanistan and we have like big family down there and it's impossible for us to take them out from Afghanistan but it's all the, our people like all the Afghanistan people are in very critical situation right now. I have like sisters and families down there and we worry about it. Will they be let them to go and continue their education or not or the way they want to live it. We love like Islamic culture and Islamic like uh, the Sharia, what they're talking about it. It's really good. And that wasn't that time, everybody. But that was like more freedom for the people, for the ladies, what they're going to do, what they want to want. But at the end right now, nobody knows how they're going to create their country and how they're going to do it.